Peppa Pig Tails. Let's jump in! Hello! Hi! Peppa and her family have come to the balloon shop to collect a special balloon for a garden party. Miss Rabbit! Can we have our fancy planet-friendly recyclable balloon? Whoa! Oh. Wow! Balloon! <laughs> the balloon shop is full of balloons. Miss Rabbit? <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> oh, you found me! I've been lost in the balloon since Tuesday morning. Must be lunchtime by now. It's Wednesday, Miss Rabbit. Oh. Anyway, here are all your fancy, planet-friendly, recyclable balloons. <laughs> ready for the party. All? But we only ordered one. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> um, it says here 1,000 balloons for Mummy Pig's party. Oh, but we don't need this many. And we can't waste them. What do we do? I know. We can share them. Peppa and her family are giving the extra two. balloons to everyone one in town. Oh, thank you. And one for both of you. Here you go. Red balloon. Green one for you. <laughs> Only 992 to go. This is going to take forever. Uh-oh, and we have to go and set up the party. I have a great idea. Grab some balloons and follow me, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> oh. It is time for the party, and everyone is beginning to arrive. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Here's your balloon. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Miss Rabbit has used the balloons to turn the garden party into a balloon party. Miss Rabbit can make anything with a balloon. <laughs> or anyone. Here you go. <laughs> it looks like me. And this one looks like me. <laughs> this is the balloon Daddy. And don't worry if you pop a balloon, because we have lots of extras. Bonk! <gasps> Bonk! <laughs> Bonk! Bonk! Everyone would have loved Mummy Pig's garden party, but everyone loves the balloon party even more. Today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin, too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot, and push the big red button. Mmm, strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, not sweets! My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier. Yummy strawberries. They look like hair. <laughs> You're right. I've got a strawberry ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my turn. Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm. Yellow banana. Ooh, you love red apples. And pink raspberries. And blue blueberries. And green apples. <laughs> 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 
you like all the flavours. So fruity. <laughs> Look, it's a big binning ball. <laughs> That's a candy floss machine. Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Mm, it tastes like coconuts. <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie. And now it looks even more like you. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out. But I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. Okay. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please! Hello, 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa and her class are going on a school trip. Hello, everyone. Who's ready for a school trip in my lovely new yellow bus? Ooh. Oh, what happened to your old blue bus, Miss Rabbit? It broke down at the weekend whilst I was taking a nice relaxing drive. Oh dear, Miss Rabbit's bus is unable to race. So it's in the garage for some small repairs. That bus is going to need some big repairs. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have never been on a big yellow bus before. Seatbelt check. Check. Then off we go. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try again. Miss Rabbit isn't used to driving the yellow bus. The yellow bus Ooh. is a bit fast for Madame Gazelle. Miss Rabbit, can the yellow bus play music? The yellow bus can do lots of things. It can do this, this, <gasps> this, oh. and of course, this. The yellow bus can play music very loudly. Could we turn the music down a little bit? Of course, Madame Gazelle. Aww. Why don't we sing a song instead? The yellow bus wheels go round and round. Round and round, round and round. round, and round. The yellow bus wheels go round, round and round all day long. Play I Spy. Good idea. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with R. Road. Nope. <laughs> Rabbit. Nope. It's a really big lorry. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Ball. Hello. Peppa's playgroup have arrived for their school trip. So it's time to get off the bus. 
Oh. I wish we could stay on the yellow bus all day. Don't worry. I'll be back in the bus to take you all home later. Everyone likes riding in the big yellow bus. Everyone except Madame Gazelle. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Peppa's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Peppa hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, oh, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. I? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. Today, Peppa and her classmates are visiting a chocolate factory. Can I try some chocolate, please, Miss Rabbit? You can, Peppa. Yay! But we've got to make it first. Oh. <laughs> Peppa is very excited to make chocolate. How do we make it, Miss Rabbit? With this machine. Hello, machine. Can you make me some chocolate, please? <gasps> Thank you, machine. Yay! Now can I try some of it, please? Not yet, Peppa. We need to decorate it first. Follow me. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to decorate the chocolate, too. You can decorate one chocolate bar each. Ooh, it looks like a muddy puzzle. <laughs> yes. But don't jump in it, Peppa. And you can add whatever decorations you like from the table as long as it's yummy. Mine is a carroty chocolate bar. <laughs> Squeak! Delicious! Mine is a cheesy chocolate bar. Squeak! Yum, yum! And mine is a spaghetti chocolate bar. Oh. Because strawberry laces look like spaghetti. <laughs> Phew! Scrumptious! Can I try some chocolate now, please, Miss Rabbit? Almost, Pepper. 
The chocolate needs to cool in the fridge first. The fridge is very cold and makes the liquid chocolate harden into bars. And done. <laughs> Can we please try some chocolate now, Miss Rabbit? Not yet, Pep. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. <gasps> Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Scrumptedly options. <laughs> hmm. Is something wrong, Peppa? No. I just really liked it when the chocolate was all runny like a muddy puddle. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Then it's lucky I have one more treat for you Yay! all. It's... A chocolate fountain! It's just like a giant chocolate muddy puddle. And lots of nice healthy fruit to dip too. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa loves muddy puddles, especially when they're made out of chocolate. <laughs> Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. More tokens? Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. Yay! Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. <laughs> oh. Hooray! Oh. oh. Aha! There's one. Hooray! Today, Peppa and her family have come to the shopping centre. Oh. Perhaps we'll get out here. I'll park up and find you soon. <laughs> if I can find a space. They've come to the toy shop to find a gift for baby Alexander. There's so many toys! <laughs> Yay! Now, what do we think baby Alexander will like? Hmm... <gasps> Maybe this basketball. Or this blaster. Pop, pop. 
<laughs> or this karaoke machine. <laughs> karaoke! <laughs> <laughs> These are very fun, but I'm not sure they're right for a baby. Then we'll have to keep looking. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> Daddy Pig has finally found a space in the car park. Ah. Oh dear. But the parking space is so small, he can't get out of the car. I'll just have to go around again. Whee! Whee! <laughs> what have you found, George? It's like the car park we were in. Car park! <laughs> George Whee! loves the toy car park. Baby Alexander does like cars, but I think he is too <laughs> young for this toy. Oh! What about this ball, George? No! Up! 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 <laughs> or maybe this cuddly teddy? No! Whee! George doesn't think any of these toys are right for Baby Alexander. <laughs> what about this noisy rattle? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. George only <gasps> likes the toy car park. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Look at <gasps> this, George. No. <laughs> for you. What a perfect gift for baby Alexander. We'll take it, please, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> I wonder where Daddy Pig parked. Whee! Hello, everyone. <laughs> everyone loves going toy shopping. But Daddy and George really love the car park. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! Hi, Peppa! <laughs> Hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. <laughs> With a one and two and one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it! Well done, Peppa! Thank you! Thank you! <gasps> oh. Oops! Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry! Happens all the time! That's okay? I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. Pop, pop, 
Popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop, pop, popping bubbles. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. <gasps> it is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream, cherries, and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Pepper really likes adding whipped cream. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Don't forget ah. the cherry on top. Ah. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Mm. Ho, ho. Not that type of Sunday. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow <laughs> one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow <laughs> for banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Today is pancake day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. It's an ice cream! Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Peppa pours flour into the bowl. Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? What are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. Oh! Peppa! The pan
pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Rainbow Pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Colourful! Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> No splashing, Mr. Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's okay, Mr. Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is, everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. The finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no splashing! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh! And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. 
Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble Oof. making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Pepper. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese. And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. <laughs> camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bird. Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. 
say cheese, everybody. <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Yummy, tasty food. Yummy. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are at a very special type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight, we're making tacos! Yay! What's a tacto? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> splish, splash, wash, splash, splash. Now, Pepper and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Dad? 
Daddy, don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Peppa. The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Peppa knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Peppa. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. Then you can mash the avocado, Peppa. Peppa likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa? Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Yay! Oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. <laughs> Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> it is bedtime. But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh. <laughs> Dory! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes. Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur! Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Today, 
Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One. <gasps> midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, okay, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Peppa had a wonderful dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside, and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. me. Oh, uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me. Coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whoosh, whoosh. Yay, it's starting. <gasps> <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie. Yeah, me. 
Oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Oh! Pepper has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wish! <laughs> Wish! <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh! Happy! <laughs> Wish! Shh! <gasps> Sorry! Everyone loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Pepper? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Pepper. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> And to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? 
Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? Yoink! It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green, so... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie! And this one? It's mm. lots of colours! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa! You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice! It's rainbow juice! <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, hmm. interesting. Uh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. <laughs> I think you'd make a very good dentist. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! <gasps> you forgot us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. 
But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George Yay! to the doctors for a checkup. Hello, I'm Dr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peppa Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. <laughs> and this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George <gasps> has never been to the doctors before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. <laughs> How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow, you're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight <gasps> with a special machine called scales. <gasps> this machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> mm -hmm. And unfreeze. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a oh. stethoscope. Oh. Mm. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. <gasps> you can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> and one for Dr. Peppa Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> 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 Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> I think I will have hmm that drink. 
Uh, oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Oh. Let's buy that too. It's stuck again! Again! <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness! We better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Peppa. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through. Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. <laughs> Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. 
Hello, Mrs. Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs. Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hey! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, <laughs> time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own <laughs> foot bath. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> Ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. <laughs> uh... Um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, it's very different to my normal massage. It's a special Peppa massage. Choo-choo. <laughs> now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Peppa is very, <laughs> very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa! Squeak! We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <laughs> Hmm, something else is missing. Oh, something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh, no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. 
No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, oh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fort. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big uh, runner. Uh, but the sand oh. is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well show. done, George. I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! Oh, my ice cream! Aha! Uh -huh. uh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. <laughs> ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Oh, oh dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Pepper's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Pepper? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Peppa, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Peppa? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. 
<laughs> oh no! Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Pepper. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Pepper has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Pepper's picnic and Pepper loved packing it. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Pepper is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> found you! Pepper has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> it's so cosy in here. Yes, reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we make a garden den, Grandpa? Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots ah. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Peppa loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Um, well done, Peppa. And George loves ah. gathering sticks. <laughs> I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. Now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <coughs> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Looks safe and sound. <gasps> well done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Pepper. Grandpa Pig has given Pepper a special backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um. Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George <laughs> love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Pepper, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> 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 Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ant 
ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Well done everyone, you worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. Beautiful work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. Wow. It's a <gasps> butterfly. Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Peppa, have you decided what you're giving away to the charity shop? Yes. All of this. Whoa. <laughs> Today, Peppa is giving some of her toys and clothes to a charity shop. This is called donating. Uh, away we go. We. <laughs> charity shops sell donated items Aww. and use the money to help people. Great. Do you want to help me sell them? Yes, please. I'll help by shopping. <laughs> Peppa is excited for people to buy her old things. <gasps> oh. But no one is buying them. No one is buying any of the things I donated, Miss Rabbit. Not to worry. We just need to let people know they're available to buy. <laughs> like this. Do you like toy rabbits, Police Officer Panda? Yes. Did you want to buy this one? <gasps> I do. Thank you. Why don't you try, Peppa? <gasps> I'm a bit cold, <gasps> Mummy. Would you like to buy this jumper, Susie? It's very warm and woolly and cosy. <laughs> yes. Please, I love wool. Bonjour, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking for a gift for somebody who loves sports. Hmm. I know. Hmm. <gasps> Cat. Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Peppa wants to sell her <laughs> toy bus next. But there's no one left to sell to. There's no one left in the shop, Miss Rabbit, mm -hmm. except <gasps> Mummy. Let's put it in the window display so everyone outside can see it. Yay! Hello there. Look at this toy bus. Would you like to buy it? No one can hear Pepper from outside the shop. <gasps> The big real bus looks just like Peppa's little toy bus. <gasps> We're
we have the same bus. <gasps> Maybe it'll sell tomorrow, Peppa. <gasps> Yay! Excuse me, is that toy bus for sale? <gasps> Why, yes, it is. Would you like to buy it? I would <laughs> love to buy it. I love all buses, big and small. Hooray! Peppa loves the charity shop. Everyone <gasps> loves the charity <laughs> shop. Oh, dear. <laughs> there, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. 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 Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot, so kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Pepper likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting. So I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh! There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at Playgroup. <laughs> And everyone is pretending Peppa is the king. I'm the king. And I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, your majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Peppa is enjoying wow. being king of the playgroup. She really likes <gasps> all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Wow. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mmm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro.
Hero, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone has to be loud. Now quiet. <laughs> now loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. sure. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oof. Phew! Wow! wow. Oh, oh good day. What's this? What's this? What's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh, but where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying <laughs> making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. <laughs> Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madam Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madam Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! Peppa loves the lovely star and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police! We'll help you! <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. 
Nino! Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and Police Officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Pepper and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> Don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Vegetables in space at my house. Yes, yes, yes please. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Peppa is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon. Just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh. oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, oh. there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. the moon? Beep! The only thing on the moon is the moon! Beep! Papa! The moon is made of cheese! 
So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course! <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am... <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. Snap! Oh! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> My pink marble is winning! I know! Let's play Pack the Parrot! Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot! But my marble is winning! It's going to pop up! I can't! Look! I know! Let's play Snap again! <laughs> Snap! Snakes and ladders! Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. 
<laughs> Ooh, here! Well done, Peppa! We found the nappy changing station! First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Ooh. 